Hi guys, I'm Dorota Palicka, International New Artist and Educator here and today I have prepared an awesome design for you. Have a preview of it in here. Not over the top, something what I really like and I hope you will like it too. So let's start. Again, those trending aura news, but this time I have done it slightly different. And, but the main uh, reason for this video is I want to show you the different color combinations and also how you can save your sponges because you have guys asked me this question as well. Okay, so the color combination on this one, I think it will be nice if we go for some maybe greens for a change. So I'm placing yellow right in the middle. And then I'm going to go with some green. But I have to place that green quite close to that yellow because I wanted it to be kind of really neon green. And then we are going to grab turquoise or maybe blue. Oh, maybe blue, why not? Oh, and I tell you what the colors I have used as well. So the color is the blue one is 237, the yellow one is 240, and then the green one is 241, if I could remember, and I think I do good remember. Yeah, it should be 241. Okay, so we have placed it there, and now I've got some sponge, which I have used it before, and I usually try to keep a one part, like one sponge for a one type of the designs. The only thing is uh, you need to keep it away from the sun, and ideally, um, remove like any bits and pieces which might be on the sponge. So what I'm gonna do is using the same color which I have used previously for this tip, I'm going to dip in, in there, but I'm trying to don't touch that much of those uh, green color because otherwise my sponge will get contaminated. So I'm trying to keep this one only for a yellow. And then I've got some old sponges and I'm going to show you on the old sponges. So, See, I've got some old sponges. The only trouble is like if you leave them too long on the back of the form, they can kind of get stick in there. But this is old sponge, which I could still keep it. So what you do it is you cut it like this. This one you can still use for those type of ombre and it's stored on like this. Try to don't press it too hard. So like the sponge, don't stick too much. yeah, to don't stick too much because then you will tear it like entirely with the sponge, you can see it like this messy <laughs> forms in here. So if, if they left there for too long time and you don't use them and they are stick too strong, the sun. Uh, you will damage them, okay? I can get rid of that part as well, of this sponge, because you cannot clean them. Like, I mean, it is gel polish, which is like, even some of it, if you expose it to the sun, it is cured, so you cannot reuse it. So this part is gonna go to the bin, but I've got the entire part in here, okay? And this is the part, maybe this one is larger, which we are going to use for this design. Now, because we don't want to be playing with all those gel polishes uh, in our hands, this is a must have tool, so a tweezer. And now we are going to do those aura nails. So with this sponge, I'm going to keep it always for this kind of combination. And when I've got the client coming in um, for the design, and they are going to kind of want the similar color combination, I will use the same uh, sponge on them. Okay, so we've got, I actually like this color combination. I don't know why this year, like I'm a fan of the green color. <laughs> um, it's funny how the things change, like, but I love that green shade, which we have created. Sprinkle with the acrylic and then cook it. Okay, I will also show you how you can save this part. So this one, this is cured product because I didn't keep it uh, away. But again, you can just trim it away and you can still use this part of the sponge. Okay, uh, each time when we trim it, we just tap it to remove any fluff. And actually I'm going to swap it because this one is okay. So I don't want to use this one. I will use the one which we have just recover, I would say, for a different color. And you know, if you use the old uh, sponge, mm -hmm. if the color are already dry quite long, and if you put another color on the top of it. No. I've because you think it will dirt? no, it's not about the dirt. Cameraman asked me a good question, and I'm gonna show you that. And let me see. This one is kind of almost cooked. 
Mm. So it's... It's hard. The gel yeah. polish is hard. Like this one, you so can see it is hard. So it's not going to work as much because you want the sponge to absorb a little bit of the product. So your blending is nicer. So and this probably, sponge wouldn't absorb this product. So let me demonstrate that quickly. Probably they make the texture underneath. Yeah. So you can see it. Normally the sponge would drink that up. This one doesn't. But you can't flatter it. See? That. It's just applying the gel polish. Mm -hmm. It's not, uh, not blending as nice. This part. Yes, you can see even the difference. So this part wasn't cooked and it's kind of absorbing the product. And then this part is not absorbing the product. Just no, go to the bin. So if your sponge get cooked, you have to just unfortunately bin it or trim the part which has been cured. Okay, let's go back to our green. I actually was supposed to do another one, but I love this combination. So the next choice we've got to do is place that turquoise around it again. Here and there and then we can let our sponge drink the colors we're working with because I like to also uh, quite often place the colors on the sponge directly just like that a tiny bit of those yellow one actually more like always the lighter the color the more of the color you want because the lighter colors are not um, uh, not as visible and yes I was right 241 lucky clover for the green one After I have placed the things, before I touch it, like it wouldn't look nice, I always go like this. So I see, it's not nice blending, so I kind of need to do like this before I can go on my tip. That's a nice aura. Really nice aura. And up and down. Oh, really nice one. I love it. I completely love it. This color combination. Cook it. Let's try another color combination and also how you could save your sponges. Uh, so the color combination, let's do it with blue and purples maybe. Yeah, so purple in the middle. Actually, even white. Why not? Even some white. That's not the white. That's the white. So a drop of the white. Uh, 119, which is a very light purple. And then we could go blue. Let's do blue. Blue and purple. Hmm. Yes, let's do it. So again, for this color combination, I need to use a fresh piece of sponge. So what I'm doing is this side has this color and then I can use easily the other side. That's why you want the tweezers because otherwise you will be just covered with the gel polishes on your hands. Blend that out. And because we've got this white in the middle, it looks kind of almost invisible, but again, we need the help of our clear acrylic to make our life easier. This one, oh, I love it. But I'm going to be fussy, just one more touch of that yellow. That's why I've got this one, which is a rounded shape, and just make it even more intense, because we can go even over this green. And look how I'm, oh, I love it. I love it. I love it even better than now. Like it's such a smooth uh, blending uh, of the colors. You can find it, depends which color is inside, inside the brighter or darker, they look both ways different. Yes, they always look like depending, like that's why yeah. I think it's the such a- The one is brighter inside. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and, and this one this is one darker. Is on outside. So yeah, that's actually gives different, different results. Like. Absolutely, I, and I think like you know you've got so many guys different combinations for um, for this look. So I don't have to play with the white anymore because we've got the middle nicely white, uh, and I'm just going to keep it the way it is. I'm just going to do it those 
uh, purple and blue. Grab my sponge. And I'm trying to avoid the middle, like uh, to don't put too much of the color in there. I might still finish it at the end with some white if it will be needed. Yeah, it will be needed. So I'm just going like this, the entire sponge and I will have to add it white or even darker purple, just a drop of it just so it stands out more. Now, extremely thin amount. <laughs> so depending on the color you use, you will have to do it slightly different probably because each color blends different. Yes, I totally prefer it now because now this purple is more visible. And it gives us those aura look. Cook it in. Clean my hands so I drop all the UV cleanser. And then let's take care of the one which I all oh, I love this color combination. High Shine No Wipe Top Gel over the entire tip because we want to give it a different kind of style to those Aura Nails and we will place some Angel Chrome over it. Here we are, cook it in. And then go back to our tip. So here I want just a drop of the white like inside there and then we could use this type this part of the sponge which we have saved it so clean it off and stamp it in cool I can see white purple and blue I hope the camera can show it as well yeah, Okay, we've got two color combinations, then I'm going to grab the Aurora. That should be cooked, hopefully. No, that's the Angel, not Aurora. That's the Angel one. And I think that's is going to give it even more like um, Aura look to it. Because depending what angle you look at it, it looks slightly different. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Top coat this one with the high shine no wipe. Top gel. What other colors you want to see, cameraman? Um, pink. Pink? Some pink? He wants to see some pink? Okay, pink and? Pink, pink, and... Pink and... So the pink I love is this one. Pink and purple? Okay, the dark one. Okay. Yeah, and purple. <laughs> so what we could do it in here... No, let's do it. Let's do it different way. Let's do it completely different way. Yes, cameraman is showing me some nice colors here. Light rose 230. Because again, as I am aura nails, but we are going to do it something completely different. I'm trying to push it on a one coat. Um, try to don't do it, like because it might wrinkle if you over over apply it but I will manage to get a nice one layer coverage cook it in and then we are going to grab our sponge so again I need some clean kind of sponge to 
create that look, which I don't have it. So I'm going to recycle this one. Okay. But you, why do you don't use the glue one side? I could, but I had lots of questions. How do you save the sponges? How do you clean them? So I want to show that uh, from the small amount, instead of using a brand new one, how do you kind of recycle them? That's the reason for this video as well. But I think if you use first the sides, you will have more. Go straight after you can cut. Uh -huh. you know, so you even more safe. Yes, yes, but when you've got a fresh sponge, there are some slidey sides, which mm -hmm. I'm not happy to use because the slide, like you need yeah. to cut off the slidey parts because they are not um, not absorbing the gel polish and they wouldn't blend as nice. But anyway, let's just finish the cooking. Okay, they are, this one is cooked so I can slide and... Uh, is it cooked? Yeah. From... Cameraman is actually very active today, <laughs> asking all those good questions. But what else I wanted to show you in this video, guys, is that the Angel Chrome looks amazing, depending what you use. Look on this one. It's like really oranules. Uh, so pretty. You've got some yellows, oranges, pinks, greens going on in here, depending how you're looking uh, at this tip. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Okay, let's go back to our light pink and a small piece of the saved sponge. <laughs> okay, so the color combination I want to use. So when I'm working with such a small sponge, you've got option. You can either slap it on in here and let's do what is my pretty orange. No, purple it was supposed to be purple, pink and purple. Um, no, we've got pink and purple, pink and orange. Yeah. Uh, so you could do it like this and blend it there, or you could put the product directly on that tiny bit of the sponge. I'm just going to do it like this. Okay, so my, my sponge drink at it nice, just in case to check if there is any fluff. And um, this can be quite nice combination as well. And it's a kind of idea of those Aura nails too. So I'm trying to keep it those rounded shape, the, the color which we have applied as a background is already uh, cooked. So it's not going to blend with that. So ideally what I want to do it is I want to, once I finish the blending inside, which is this one. Okay, so that's, that's my blending part. I want to also blend the outside. And the best way to do it is to grab clean part of the sponge and just touch it up with the clean part of the sponge without of any product on it. Oh, this one was actually messy, dirty. I can see some glitter on that sponge. Always clean the sponges because you can actually create a quite a lot of mess. And I love it. Like, I love it, this combination um, as well. Uh, if you want it to be even more pigmented, what we could do it is... I quite liked it this way. I'm just going to pigment it more. So we've got a bigger color difference for our um, Angel Chrome. Okay, let's decorate it, those ones. So this one, I think, is screaming to me. It wants, it wants maybe some blue. Oh, I had some different type of pearls somewhere. Cameraman, stop the video. I need to find them. <laughs> I got them. So they are like really, oh gosh, like, I don't know, five, ten years old. Um... And we are going to, we've got even the similar color kind of combination, like in here, let me see if they flat back. No, they are not flat back. Ah, this ones are flat back. He, he, he. It's fine. We have to use them because I think it will give us a completely um, different look. So base gel on the side. I needed quite a decent amount of the base gel, then some brush, and then I will show you how to get those pearls so they stick in because they are quite um, high up and they are rounded shape. What I will do for them is place the pearl in, 
Oh, so pretty. And then I need to put something around it so the transition in between them is smoother because otherwise this pearl will uh, just um, come, off. come off, like, you know, or it will be annoying and catchy for a client. So I've got here recycled <laughs> uh, Swarovski pearls. They are real Swarovski. I normally um, wouldn't put them on the tips, but because they are recycled one from my needles, um, I can use them for the designs on the tips. I wouldn't use it again, I recycle stuff for the clients. And the third one. Oh, cool. Another one, just a wee tiny one. Again, on its own, a lonely one. And ta-da, this one is finished. Let's uh, quickly pigment this one up. So we need to clean the excess of the acrylic. Make sure your brush is clean, otherwise you end up actually with the bigger mess. And tiny bit more, just in the middle. You can see the difference in the color pigments once we do acrylic. This is nice aura. Cook it. Then on this one for the color combination I feel we should go just the other pearls. I don't want to hide this one too much because I love it. And in the flower sets, which I've gotten here, they are also tiny wee pearls here. And those flowers, and the pink one, uh, and the yellow one. So I'm just grabbing those pearl and I'm sticking it in. Because this one is tiny, it's not going to be as much catchy, but still, I like to give it something around it. And then we've got those caviar beads boxes with different sizes. So I'm going into this size. And just place them in. One more. Fantastic. Oh no, not fantastic. I should cook the pear first and then put the caviar beads because we have too much base and you could see it move it. So I quickly pop it into the lamp. Then on this one top coat, no, oh. on this one top coat and on this one top coat too. So let's top coat it. Are you curious how the angel is gonna look on that one? Uh. Me too. It looks nice on its own, like I love it on its own, this color combination. Which one is your favorite one? Mm, I could do you the one which one you put in the hand and I'll do this one. This one? No, no, no. This one. This one. This one. Ah, okay. So that's two cameraman's favorites. I think I like... I like this one because... Ah, this it's one is nice too, so I do see it. Yeah, yeah. it's just from this, which one I see it. So let's top coat it. Pearls and caviar beads, always top coat them in. But I hope guys you have uh, enjoyed the fun of saving the sponges at first. Because <laughs> that was the video, how to save the sponges. Like I think that was the main reason for this video. Just applying top coat. Great. Cook it in, top coat over this one. And here I've got real Swarovski, so I don't want to top coat real Swarovski because it's nice and shiny and we don't want to lose the shine, go around it. But then I want to top coat the pearl. I actually like this one. I'm not sure how it looks in the camera as well, but I love the color combination here and the how subtle the bending is but also how many different colors we've got showing through 
the angel. Let me clean that away and slap angel here. Uh, magic happen. Magic happen. Cameraman says it does. It does. I think it's a different. Um, it just gives different dimension to those aura needles. They are real aura needles now. Um, so that's why I wanted to show you. Um, and I'm so happy to have on my needles as well um, the chrome look. I think it looks amazing. Wow. Lovely. Lovely. So what on this one? On this one I will use those pearls for a change. <laughs> so depending on the needle we've got different pearls. Honestly, so much fun. Let's do it maybe opposite way. So something here and something small in there. Don't want to overdo it. Um, and pretty. Come on, I need nice, tiny one. This one? No. This one. Very pretty. No, that's too big. Maybe single ones. Are they look okay? Yeah. yeah. Let's do it single ones. So we've got all different ones. And then I can show you all what we have created today. So this one has to go in here. I'll probably need to make like oh pretty. So good order for them. Oh, this one needs the top coat as well. Gosh, I'm all over the place. <laughs> I got too excited creating this fun news. But uh, first of all, when I have saw it. Um, I was looking a little bit like a pimple <laughs> and the nails and I really didn't like that trend. Uh, now, I'm, the more I do it, the more I love it. And I hope, guys, I get you addicted to that trend as well. If you try different color combinations, please do share it with us on the uh, Facebook group we've got. Uh, so we can see it as well, what ideas you got uh, for that trend. So this green needs to go in here and I think this green goes in no. This goes amazingly well, like, there we are. Green goes with pink. Yes, a dose. Then, then, this one goes with pink as well. So I will have to probably place it there. Okay, I've got the order. Like this, like this, like this. Then I've got tiny bit of purple and like this. Now everything even match together now and you can see it how amazing those aura needles are with the pearls and with the angel chrome and on different needle it shows slightly different color this angle is good as well so yeah absolutely awesome set uh, we're sending you both glittery hacks and bye for now